Let's have ourselves a little Sunday reset, a little productive day in the life, and I'll take you guys along with me. and I wanted to show you guys like my full self tan routine so I actually filmed that last night so I'm going to insert that footage right here hope you guys enjoy so we are now at peak self care mode this would definitely look but I wanted to share like my self care routine I'm using the cocoa and Eve sunny honey bronzing foam and I really love this especially because it like comes on more of like an olive tone I love this one and also the loving tan one because of that reason like I don't want like an orange looking tan I want something that's gonna be a little bit more olive toned and like I don't know I just feel like this is a really nice color so I love this one and then for my face I'm gonna use the loving tan deluxe face tan put it on my hands rub it on face and then wash my hands really well because you don't want it to stick to your hands but my little insider tips first in the shower exfoliate shave do all the things and then wait an hour because like you want your pores to kind of close up you don't want like it to be freshly shaved and then try to do the self tan so i usually wait about an hour i lotion the spot areas i'm going to use this palmer's cocoa butter lotion i just kind of put lotion on like certain spot areas like my elbows and like my knees like wherever you don't want the self tan to gather too much is where you'll put the lotion you want to get your hands because you don't want the self tan to like go in the crevices you don't want that then i take my tanning glove and i do like one or two pumps of the tanning mousse and then i rub in like circular motions all along my body and then that's how i do my self tan okay the self tan is on and now we marinate. It's marinating time. I can already feel the joy and the confidence seeping through my skin. Anyway, so I'm gonna marinate. I'm gonna watch some Love Island because season 11 just came out on Hulu. I love Love Island. I've watched every single season of every single like USA, Australia, UK, obviously is the best, but I've seen every single season. A lot of episodes of every single season. So you know that I'm a fan. You know that I love it. So gonna be watching that as I marinate and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. So that was my full self tan routine and now this is how it came out. I think it came out pretty good and I can already feel the good vibes and the summer vibes already from self tanning. So mission accomplished. I feel so much better already and I know it makes no sense, but it's just like a little self care thing that just makes me feel so much better. So love that. And then for breakfast, I had like two boiled eggs and I had peanut butter on a rice cake. So a very light, healthy breakfast. Oh, insider tip, I forgot to film it, but I learned like how to make the perfect boiled egg every time because I like mine like slightly like soft boiled I guess is what you call it. So the easiest way to do it, boil the water, then you put the eggs in and you could do it for like eight or nine minutes. And then you take, as soon as you take the eggs out, put them in like a little ice bath, like make a little ice bath for your eggs and you put them in with the ice. And then it's easier also to peel them afterwards. And you like crack the bottom, like the fat, thick booty of the egg. <laughs> that seems wrong. Okay. The, like the thicker part of the, like the end, the bottom of the egg, the bottom of the egg, you crack that first and then it makes it easier to peel. A little insider tip, I guess. I just learned that and it definitely like made it easier to peel and the eggs came out perfect. So delicious breakfast. I'm also watching The Rookie and that's really good so far. I'm waiting for Chenford to happen. Love them. Of course, any show that I watch, I'm gonna find the love story in it and like be obsessed with it. I'm just a hopeless romantic and I love love. Even if it's like, there's like a minuscule, like barely any romance, I'm eating it up. We'll be eating it up. So I'm just gonna do some like light makeup today. Nothing too crazy. I also did buy some new makeup. So I'm waiting for that to come in and then I'll do like a full like updated makeup routine. And I just love like, you know, there's something about retail therapy that is just gonna do it every single time, you know? So I was feeling a little funky, but then like I self tanned did my nails. I just did like a light purple. I don't know if I'm crazy about them, but nevertheless, like just painting your nails, like doing the self-care things, it truly does make a difference. Also drinking water. So I told myself I'm going to work out today. I'm going to drink a lot of water. I'm going to eat as healthy as I can today and just like have myself a little self-care day, revive myself because sometimes like I forget to do the things that like make me feel good. And then I end up feeling funky. And then I'm like, oh, like what a little dummy dumb. Like you haven't been doing any of the things that you know make you feel good. So of course you're like gonna feel off or like gonna feel funky. So I wanna just like get back into the daily habits that I know make me feel good about myself. So that's the goal of today. But to start out, I'm just gonna do a little light makeup routine. Starting with moisturizer, I'm gonna use the Outset Nourishing Daily Moisturizer. And this water bottle says books are magic. It says Brooklyn, New York on it, which is where I was actually born and raised. It has like little like check marks, see how much water you're drinking. So I love that. I got this sent to me with like a book package and it's just really, really cute. I really love it. And 
it'll help me stay with my water goals. Now, next up, I think I'm gonna use this It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Natural Matte Color Correcting Pore Refining Full Coverage Cream. And it's also a skin balancing serum and it has SPF 40 in it. So I feel like it's perfect for the summer. Use a beauty blender. I've tried using brushes to blend my foundation, but I just feel like it doesn't, maybe it's me, like maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I just feel like I haven't perfected like brush routine because I feel like it just doesn't go on as smooth as like when I use a beauty blender. But yeah, I don't wanna go too crazy with the makeup. I might've just put on more than I should've right in, in this moment, but we're gonna blend it out because when in doubt, blend it out is always the rule. And because I self tanned, it's like probably a little bit too light but we're gonna blend it all in and it's gonna look fine just gotta trust the process here i swear every time i tell myself that i'm gonna do like a light makeup look i always end up doing my same routine so a little reading update i just started filming a reading vlog i'm gonna finally finish the throne of glass series i just started like my tandem read with empire of storms and tower of dawn so i'm starting to film for that and i feel like that's gonna take up most of my time because it might take me like the whole month to finish the series I don't know, depending on like how much time I have and how much I get through it. But I'm thinking it's probably going to take me the whole month to finish it. So my plan is that this month there may not be a lot of book videos, like reading vlogs, because the main reading vlog that I'm filming is going to be the Throne of Glass series. So I'll like throw in some like book rec videos throughout the month. But for the most part, it's going to be more like lifestyle vlogs. And I hope you guys enjoy that too, because I love books and I love reading, but I also love sharing other things too. And I love sharing my life with you guys and just hanging out. Like we're besties and i've always like grown up like watching beauty gurus and like lifestyle vloggers and i've always felt like comforted through watching those videos and felt like i was like hanging out with a friend if i was like eating lunch and watching a youtuber or like doing whatever watching youtube and i always felt like so comforted by that and inspired by those youtubers so i hope that like my channel can be that for other people too so that is my goal with this channel like i'm not a dedicated book channel but i do enjoy reading and i enjoy making reading vlogs and book videos so of course like i'm going to continue doing that but i also want to like do more lifestyle videos too and share my life with you guys and just hang out and do all the things. So that's kind of where I'm at with that. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Take Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I also usually let like my under eye concealer kind of set and get more tacky so it like doesn't go everywhere. Like when you let it sit for a minute, it just like kind of, I feel like it just stays where it's meant to for the most part. So I let it get tacky and I go in with my contour. For contour, I'm just gonna use this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Almond. And I'm gonna use that kind of as my stick bronzer and go where I put contour. Go all around my forehead, especially because I have I kind of have a big forehead, so I like that it helps, I don't know, hide it? I don't know. So, and then I also go on my jawline to kind of sculpt the jawline, bring it out, I guess, I don't know. So that's what I do. And then I use a flat kabuki brush and I just blend it all in. So now that I'm done blending in my contour, then I'll go in and blend out my concealer. And then next we're gonna finish off our cream products with the Rare Beauty liquid blushes, which I absolutely love these. Okay, so I do love the shade Virtue, but I also recently did like a color analysis appointment. I have a video of it on my TikTok and Instagram, but I found out that I am a soft summer. So there are certain colors that like look better on me, I guess, than like other colors. It's really interesting, like the whole color analysis thing, but I found out that I am a soft summer. So one of the makeup products that she says, like the shade that goes well with my skin is Happy and then also the shade Encourage. So I do have Happy, so that's the one I'm gonna use because apparently the shade looks best on me. So I guess you guys can tell me if it does, but I love the Rare Beauty blushes. They're definitely like my favorite liquid blushes ever. They're just so perfect and I love them. And with blush, I kind of go ham with this. I just feel like it's the first thing to fade and I love like a nice little blushy look, especially in the summer. I kind of put this everywhere. I go up with it. I go underneath my eyes with it, some on my nose, a little bit on my forehead to give like a little natural like sunburn type of look, I guess. So again, I basically put this stuff everywhere. So after I'm done blending that in, those are all of the cream products that I use. So then I go in with setting powder to obviously set everything and i recently got set some stuff from ysl which is crazy like first of all look at the packaging ysl packaging is just so fancy and beautiful and i'm just obsessed with it like what did i do to deserve this like this is like luxury i am so excited about this this is their like pressed powder so i'm gonna try this out and it comes with like a little little spongy sponge to dab it in so love that and then next gonna go in with some more powder products gonna go in with the ysl bronzer gorgeous amazing show stopping i'm just gonna take this little fluffy brush and just kind of go all around where we put the liquid contour to kind of set it a little bit add a little bit more bronze 
because you can't have too much bronze. And again, I'm probably using way more than I needed to today, but I just can't help it. And I also just love makeup and getting ready and just being a girl and doing girly things. It's just so fun and so cute. And honestly, like doing my makeup is like a little therapy time for me. Like makeup therapy is so real and so true. So next up, I'm forgetting all my steps. Okay. Oh, blush. So I go in with a little powder blush to kind of set the liquid blush. And I absolutely love the Milani Baked Blushes. And they're really an affordable blush too. So I love the shade Luminoso. And I love the shade Petal Primavera, which is the one I'm going to use right now. And it's just like this cute, like soft pink color. So I absolutely love that. And then next up for brows, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Kit. And just, it comes with like this tiny little like flat brush and like has a little spoolie at the end. And I just go in with this middle brown shade and kind of like fill in wherever my hairs are pretty sparse. And then I will go in, where is it? Also, don't even, I won't even show you this makeup cart because it is so extremely messy. I need to get like organizers and maybe I'll make like a whole separate video of me like organizing everything, but you don't even want to know. It's better, it's best that you don't know what this looks like right now because no wonder I can't find anything. Where are you? Okay, here you are. So I'm using the Anasta Anastasia. Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Blau, Blau Gel. <laughs> Blau Gel? The Liquid Brow Gel, and it's like just this clear brow gel that like keeps the brows in place. So I love this, and I will just kind of like brush the brows up with this, make them nice and fluffy. I'm not gonna do any eyeshadow because we're doing a light look today, so I'm not gonna go crazy with that. Usually I would do like a little like brown eyeshadow as like eyeliner and like I wing it out, but again, like we're not going crazy today. So I think what I'm gonna do is, Actually, maybe I should do a little highlight. This is the Anastasia highlighter. First of all, is this not the most gorgeous thing you've ever seen in your whole life? And I'm just gonna go in with my finger and dab a little bit on the places where I like to put highlighter, which is like my nose, my brow bone, my little cheekbone. I wanna know who invented the eyelash curler and wanted it to look like this. Like who said, let's make like a little cage for your eyelashes. This metal cage? What the heck? Also curling your lashes is probably like the scariest part of a makeup routine because I'm always like, what if I just ripped out all my eyelashes right now? But they really do the job though because my lashes I feel like are just so straight. Like they're pretty long, honestly, but they're just straight. So like once I curl them, I'm like, oh, forgot I had you suckers. There you are. So I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Mascara. I love this one. I also really love the YSL mascaras. I love the L Essence Lash Princess mascaras. Um, I recently tried the Fenty Beauty Mascara, and that one's really, really good too. This is the first one I found, so this is the one I'm using. And again, there's really no reason for me to be doing my makeup right now because it is like a rainy Sunday, and I don't even know if I'm gonna leave my house. Like, I really, I don't foresee me leaving my house, unless it's to get coffee, maybe. So, I don't know. But again, makeup is just fun for me, and I love to do it and chat and just have a little, like, me time makeup therapy. So, next, I'm gonna go in with a little lip liner. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Liner in the shade Parchment. And I'm gonna go very lightly with this. I just kind of want to outline it a little bit, give some color. I feel like I'm just gonna do a little bit of the YSL candy glosses. I love these candy gloss lipsticks because they kind of feel like a tinted chapstick. Like, they go on really smooth. And I think I'm gonna use the shade... I think I'm gonna use the shade 44B and I'm just gonna go in very lightly with this and like dab it on because I don't want to put too much I just want to add just like a little bit of color and then to finish it off I'm gonna use the it cosmetics confidence in a serum gloss and this is just like a clear lip gloss Oh my gosh indestructible <laughs> I'm gonna use this clear lip gloss and it just adds a little plumpness a little shine and it also kind of like tastes like bubblegum adds a little plumpness a little shine that's all you need, that's all you want. So this is the completed makeup look and with the hair, I'm probably not gonna do anything with it because I'm probably gonna curl it, use rollers tomorrow. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I also really need a haircut. I have a hair appointment at the end of the month and I am counting the days until then because I just can't wait to get like some fresh color, a fresh cut. I wanna maybe get some slight bang, maybe some layer action, so. I just need to revive my hair. So it's been like a really long time since I've gotten it done. For now, I think I'm just gonna Maybe just keep it in a clip today. We're not really caring too much today. And also, how do people, like, I feel like girls, like, will just put their hair in a clip and, like, it looks so cute. Like, what am I doing wrong here? Does this look cute? I don't even know. I feel, maybe it does look cute. Or do I look bald? I don't know. Do I look like a little boy? I don't know. Oh my gosh, I got some new PR I want to show you guys. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. Let me show you. So, first things first, I got this package from Dermalogica. Are we kidding? Unreal. Amazing. So you open it up. Gorgeous packaging, first of all. 
and then you open up this little thing and it's a firming and lifting eye treatment which is something i desperately need because i kind of like sunken under eyes so i'm hoping that this like kind of firms them up lifts them up so very excited to try this and then it also came with like a little gua sha is that what you call it like to sculpt like i am so excited to use this i love a little self-care little skincare action and then penguin random house sent me some books they sent me like the magicians series and i remember watching the show a while ago and really enjoying it so i never read the book i honestly didn't even know it was a book series so i'm so excited to get into these and the covers are we kidding they are gorgeous show stopping wonderful spectacular like i'm so excited to jump into this i love a good little like fantasy fantasy romance i don't know if there's a romance in this again like it was a it's been a while since i watched the show so i don't really remember too much about it but even better because i feel like i'm gonna go into this series with like fresh eyes and as we know like a lot of times the book is way better than the show or the movie so i'm really excited to jump into these and have a new series to read so that was some of my recent pr that i've gotten but i'm so excited and so incredibly grateful for brands that send me stuff like it's actually unreal actually unreal and i love you guys so so much and thank you guys for just like supporting me and watching my stuff it means the world to me you guys literally have no idea like how fun and comforting this is for me to do so i just love you guys so much and let's keep going life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding so my head high. Storms and I oh I forgot to mention this, but I am doing the tandem read, which I think I mentioned before. But when I googled it, I found like a Google Doc checklist because at first I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do the tandem read because it's just a little like overwhelming a little bit. But I found a checklist, so it like goes like chapter by chapter, like what you need to switch off to in each book. So a checklist, I love a good checklist, and then I can feel like accomplished as I like check off the chapters. So I'm so excited and. Yeah, I'm excited to get back into this world. I love this world. I love these characters. So I'm excited to film like a whole reading vlog with this for you guys. And stay tuned for that. Probably won't be soon, but eventually there'll be a reading vlog for this. So let's get into reading. And I also have this cutie little bookmark. It has like little teddy bears on it from Flores on Sunday. She gave me a bunch of bookmarks and they're so adorable and so cute. Definitely recommend her for if you want like cutie little bookmarks. So cute. And I love like the little ribbon at top. <laughs> one and if you watch the end of this video you can leave a little teddy bear emoji in the comments below because you're a real one and you know for the cozy vibes i guess i'll pick a teddy bear like comment share subscribe all the things i love you guys so so much and i'll catch you in the next one love ya bye